Love holds you. Love bears witness to all your inherent dignity and worthiness. It witnesses how you try, succeed, and fail. And it does not flinch. Love will not let go. Love holds all of you. Hello, everyone. This is Reverend Ben, and this is your weekly video. I uh, wanted to start with those words from Worship Web by Reverend Carrie Holly Hurt. Um, and you might notice I have something behind me. We have the Faces of Abortion exhibit that is going to be featured in Gilmore Hall. Uh, Cheyenne and I are setting it up as we speak, and we're going to get a lot of help from the uh, um, bodily autonomy team. I'm very excited for this abortion, or the, for this um, exhibit, and I think you all are going to, um, I don't know about enjoy, but I think it'll be very moving to see the stories of all of these folks. We just have the exhibit for a couple of weeks. Um, previously, it was at UU Sarasota, and after us, it might travel on to UU Clearwater. Several of us got to go see the exhibit uh, a few years ago in Sarasota, and that's when the bodily autonomy team um, said yes to the opportunity to host it here. Um, John and James are back. It's true. We had our worship team meeting on Tuesday night, and there they were, real and alive, and I got to hug them, and it's so good to have you both back, John and James. Um, so they will be here this Sunday for our worship on welcoming traditions, Yom Kippur and Maybon. Um, I will not be there, but do you know who will be there and will be talking? Barbara Archibald, Geneva Nelson, Sandy Weeks, Rebecca Wilson, and Todd Wellman. It's going to be a wonderful worship service, and I'm looking forward to joining you all via YouTube Live. Speaking of Yom Kippur, that's tonight at sunset. Um, this video might not even be uploaded by then, but whether it is or not, I wish all of you who um, mark the starting of the Jewish New Year a happy New Year. Um, then this next Thursday, the board meeting will happen on Thursday night at 545 in Conway South. All of our board meetings are open to any member who wants to attend. Uh, unless they choose to go into executive session, but I don't even think that's happening this time. So uh, if you've never been to a board meeting, I would go to a board meeting. and This next Thursday might be a good time to do it. Then next Sunday, October 1st, you all know about the congregational vote uh, that's been scheduled to change our bylaws. Uh, what you probably don't know is we need child care uh, for that congregational vote so that our members who have children are able to attend. So please let Janae or myself know if you were able to help out with childcare during that congregational vote. Um, a lot of uh, staff have been getting requests and just sort of having sometimes uh, difficult interactions right on Sunday morning. So please know that Sunday morning for me, Sunday morning for Cheyenne, Sunday morning for Janae, uh, and for all the staff, that's kind of the worst time to, <laughs> to bring up something with us. Uh, all of us, though, the good news is, are available and have plenty of office hours. Um, so I know for many of you, Sunday morning is the only time we come here. And maybe you just had that thought in your head. You know, I've had this thing on my mind. If, if you could please just wait for any time that's not Sunday morning right before worship, we really would appreciate that. Um, the communication, the interaction, and the relationship will be much better if we just set up another time. Chalice extinguishing uh, is, there's no chalice, but I'm still going to say it, uh, because as we extinguish the flame on our chalice, we do ignite it inside ourselves. Our commitment to our mission and to one another is an unquenchable flame. So let's remember that we're not alone until we light our flame next time. I hope to see you on Sunday and blessings everyone.